my name's Ian. Today I'm going to talk to you about bulking. And you think, why? Why do I really need to, as a carpenter builder, or do I need to understand it? Well, here's the key point. Okay, so I dig. I'm doing a job. Excuse the poor drawing, but anyway. This has three uh, metres cubic three cubic metres of clay and I understand that clay has a bulking factor of 20%. So how does that affect me? Well, when I'm doing pricing this job, I've got a price to get rid of the clay. Okay, because when and it comes down to this, it's going to cost me $100 per cubic metre to get rid of. So I've worked out that the volume of the hole is three cubic metres. The problem is when I dig the clay out, the clay was all compressed in nice and tight all there, but when it comes out it goes into the back of the truck, it becomes 3.6 cubic metres. So now it's going to cost me $360 to get rid of the, the clay rather than just the $300 that I thought it was because I hadn't allowed for the bulking factor. So, and we, if it's got a 20% bulking factor, which clay does have, all I've got to do is multiply the three times 1.2 and equals 3.6. So it's just a matter of understanding how much when it's unsettled. You can imagine that something like beach sand would have a very small bulking factor because when it's dug out, it'll stay roughly the same uh, volume. But something like clay, dry clay, is going to be crumbled and there's going to be lots of air spaces and that in there so it's going to expand in volume and I don't want to pay for it I want the customer to pay for it so I understand that uh, for every one meter it's going to be 1.2 meters to get rid of I hope that makes bulking a little easier to understand thanks